come back in this build this this video we're going to create the spine chart it works great with percent of total of two different values in a group and if we hop into tableau i'm connected to some census data and you'll see our spine chart and we can see the percent of total of female versus male by age group and it's ordered it just so happens to be ordered by age but really it's also ordered by the size of the bar so they more or less with the exception of one age group follow a particular order and usually spine charts are going to be sorted from highest to lowest based on that bar value but anyway this is the spine chart we're going to recreate it in tableau and we need three calculations to do that so let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to start by creating a new sheet and we're going to use age I'm going to bring that out of my view. I'm going to fit it to the entire view. And I also have a calc created um, that's just going to help with the sorting of these values the way that I want them. So it doesn't matter. You could hand sort them. I've just sort of created a quick calculation for it. I didn't even give it a name just to sort of give you a sense of what I was trying to do when I came up with it. But now I've got all my values sorted from under five all the way up to 85 and older from here we're going to start creating our bars the essential spine chart with one calculation and the rest is just flourish to finish so from here we will just say if our age demographic or sorry if our sex field is equal to male then we're going to say negative sum count else some count and then of course we're going to have an error because we can't mix aggregations and non-aggregations but we're going to put sex this calculation on our view so we can just say min here and min is going to be faster than the attr function so that's why i personally use it and we're going to take this whole chunk and we're going to divide it by the sum of a fixed calculation so notice i did the sum and then I have an open parentheses and a curly brace. And then we're going to fix this by age group. And I'm going to then say sum of count. So that's my aggregation and then close everything out. So this sum across age isn't going to affect my analysis at all. It virtualizes at the correct level. And then we can just call this um, spine chart. That'll give us our spine chart calculation. This is going to be a percent of total. The male values will be negative and the female values will be positive. I'll hit OK here. I'll bring spine chart out of my columns. Oh no, it all adds up to 100. Well, what we need to do is add sex onto our view. And I'm just going to click and drag and add that on the color. And there you go. There's our spine chart. All I need to do is add spine chart calc on the label and change these to a percentage. So I could do that. However, the way that I want to do this, I would just want to add a label at the end of the female bar here, not have the view have both labels and have a negative here. Because right, they're going to add up to 100%. So I know sort of the opposite value is just going to be one minus whatever the percentage is. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to create another calculation. This is a really simple one. I like doing it two different ways, frankly. Um, if we really wanted to, um, there's you know, we could do this just take our spine chart calculation here. In fact, let's just do it this way. Take our spine calc, let's duplicate it. Then we're gonna edit it. And we're just gonna say, instead of having this negative value here, we're gonna call it, no. Um, actually, let's just delete this out. We'll do it again the right way. We'll just say sum if our sex, and I'm doing this inside the aggregation, is equal to female then count and and this will aggregate it up and I'm, I'm not just designing this for my data set this is for any data set it's going to work regardless so this is now going to just be percent female and now i can hit okay and now i can take this percent female calculation and just change my default property here Let me just go number format and change this to a percentage with one decimal. Let's click, drag, and add female percentage to the left of spine chart. From here, we can just go to our marks card for it, click label, show mark labels. And then we can just 
change our mark type by removing sex and it'll put the labels out on the end. And that's really what we want. We want the labels on the end of the lines. Last parts that we really need to do to add this label, just go dual axis. Let's synchronize everything up. Let's change our mark types from automatic to bar. Again, we have our spine chart. If I want to get very picky with my formatting, which in this series, I'm trying to you know, show each step along the way. I'm going to uncheck show header. And then on my rows here, I'm just going to double click and type min, sorry, I'm going to just type 0.0. .0. No min, no aggregation. We're going to click. It's going to aggregate it by default. Don't allow for that to happen. Choose dimension instead. So you just type in 0.0, .0 and then Tableau made it aggregation, but we're going to change that to a dimension. And we just need to edit our axis here. And we're going to set our range between negative 1 and 1. Nice and symmetrical. Don't worry about the title. Don't worry about anything else. You'll notice once we did that, our bars are now centered. Right click, uncheck that and show that header. Right click again, format, and we're going to get rid of our row dividers. They always show up when we do a dual axis. So those are gone. And then we're also going to get rid of our grid lines. And those are gone. The last little bit of formatting that we need to do here is make room for our labels but i don't like this dashed line i just want to use like a nice solid line and there we go finally we'll just take our header and we'll right align it so that it goes right next to the lines here and that's it that's the spine chart again all we could do is maybe resize the bars a little bit but that's it um, in this video i showed you how to make a spine chart I showed you how to add the labels to the end because you don't need both. And then I also added this line that helps your audience guide their eye across the view, removing a lot of the heavy borders that might be associated with it. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like it. If you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.